Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Interactive Friction Watchdogs. I am Brandon Lee Carey. Joining me, as always, is professional crowd shooter Samuel Callahan. So you can do this the stealthy way. You know, you can be very careful and use that forklift and get back there, or we could just go the Aiden Pierce way. Oh, you mean blowing everything up? I mean, just blowing brains across the wall, because I'm so, Aiden uh... Pierce. Remind me what we're doing here, exactly. Um... Uh, something to do with Iraq. That's all I know. I, th I thought... I, if I remember correctly, we are just starting the prostitution arc. Oh yeah, he got the thing from Lucky Quinn or whatever. And then we got... I think the last mission we did, it's been a while, was yeah, gathering the, the, the waiting list. Yeah, that's the pier. I remember yeah. now. So, oh, that's going to be great to comment on. Ooh, new gun. He's making a phone call. It's... It, I was just thinking, like, it... Oh, this Doing shit. Iraq and this, like, this, these are the two worst parts of the entire game, and they're right back to back. I at least found the, uh, the whole prosthesis, uh... The, I'm not, uh, sorry, I'm out of words. The whole, uh like Trex trafficking thing to be interesting even though again it kind of falls under that like it just kind of happens Naden Pierce does it like we talked about that earlier where it just becomes like an optional side mission of like you want to help stop this now ah, you got other stuff to do you got a dead niece to avenge instead of you you know saving yeah. people who are alive yeah I understand that yeah that that <laughs> it look, it's a little weird when you think about it uh let's see I hate guitar At players. Least... I thought you hated trumpet players. There's a guy playing a trumpet around here somewhere. Oh, that guy. He's dead now. I hate ska bands, and I hate guy white guys with acoustic guitars. And apparently people have phones. Well, I can't have them calling the police. On the fact that you're a murderous scumbag? <laughs> Nobody can know. It's my deep secret. If people would Remember, just... You're, you're a vigilante known as the Fox. If people would just stop calling the police, we wouldn't have this problem. <laughs> you just That's stop the calls. That's what happens when you're evil. <laughs> people call the police on you a lot. Yeah. And they throw rocks at you. Oh, he almost got it too. Wow, wow, man, you're actually doing- You're actually I'm, really good at shooting people who are phoning for help. I'm well playing Aiden Pierce. I'm the vigilante! I'm here to protect you! That's always, yeah. that's always the weird thing about open world games, isn't it? It's yeah. Like, yeah. Especially when you're supposed to be the hero, it's like, so should you be allowed to kill people? <laughs> or do this? I mean, this we're probably gonna, gonna cover it later, but Sleeping Dogs did this same thing, like, very well. Yeah. It was like, you're a bad cop, but you're a good asshole. If you run over people and property damage and all that. Yeah. Then you had stuff like, uh, Driver San Francisco, where it's just like, yeah, you just can't kill people. They'll always jump out of the way. I'm gonna make it to the mission! I'm gonna make it! Gonna make it! Gonna make it! This... yeah, this is... really like... Blah. Why do they keep following me? You know, like... The open world structure, like, this is the- this is probably the worst part of, like, the open world style of gameplay in general, is just having to ferry yourself from one mission to the next. Because it can get really tedious to do that, especially if, they're, if the missions are long distances away. I forget how you escape these things, it's just wait, right? Or you could you just jump in the fucking water. Oh, how, good, I'm being invaded. Remember those online evasions, Brandon? Oh yeah, you know, the ones that no one fucking <laughs> likes! 
<laughs> Except everybody's playing them apparently. Cause we, you think people were like, know that we're recording this and starting to play Watch Dogs again? Just looking for us. It implies we have viewers. <laughs> Plus, like, the one of the two people who watch this are playing Watch Dogs under different Uplay names just to fuck with us. What, is your style of, of finding the Hagrid is kill everyone in sight? Yeah. It's working pretty well thus far, I think. He's gotta come out eventually! Well, I mean, eventually it's gonna shrink. We're almost there. Circle. Well, they're not running properly. Cause that'd be that'd be a terrible idea. Are you him? God, Sam, what have you done? <laughs> I'm gonna find him. What have you done? I'm gonna find him. I'm gonna find him. Police officer homicide. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what I expected to happen, actually. Well, good news, we get another chance. You know, I wish that that canceled the mission altogether, honestly. The hacking thing? Yeah, just getting just getting killed just canceled the mission. It'd this probably make lead, fucking sense. It'd probably lead to way too many people just immediately dying the second you got hacked. Good! <laughs> fucking good! Not the hacker, is what it says. Well, vegan. It says in his facts. We're gonna keep running around until we find him, I guess, because we don't. Or we could, you know, fuck this and just. We can't do the mission until it's done. <laughs> so either we find him or we don't. You see anybody? God, looks... this is. Th this is like. Can you can you please go to the options and turn this off? Oh yeah, I forgot you can turn that off. <laughs> Probably this, should. This, is, this really sucks. I'm not gonna lie. Are they hiding in a car? They might oh, be... you haven't tried blowing up all the cars, so maybe. You have a grenade launcher. Hello! Are you the hacker? It doesn't even matter at this point. Found him! He was in a minivan. Got him. Good news, Brandon, I did it. Uh, now we have another problem. Cops? Yeah. Uh, we're only 24 we're points for our next upgrade. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, online, online invasions, friend invasions. Yeah, friend invasions. I want my friends to invade me. There we go. There we go. Fuck these guys. Are you sure you don't want to be hacked? I'm pretty sure. You'll lose all your notoriety. Pretty sure. <laughs> it fucking matters anyway. Those upgrades really aren't that big a deal. So, uh, now we just wait to die. Oh man, this is, this is the worst start to an episode <laughs> recording. No, I think it's great. It's what the kids want. You know, that's the good thing about having good karma in this game is that people don't fucking phone you in. Oh, is that what that does? Real, which really saves on time. <laughs> is that like all that does though? Is just people will not call the cops on you if you murder someone? Yeah. So all we've done is made the game people impossible. People trust that you're doing the right thing <laughs> to murder someone in cold blood if you have good karma. I need to murder your husband, but I have good karma. Yeah, that, that's basically <laughs> it. I play it. That sounds way more interesting. But if you have bad karma, then people will call, will like call you on call people on site. Yeah, I wonder. Can it get bad enough? People will just look at me and call me, or call the police. I imagine it does at some point. That might be like a. I don't remember if that's like a gameplay thing or if that's a story thing or if that happens at all. Oh, oh right, yeah. We uh, had we had the European dude who were like, we gotta go murder this guy because we have to become him. 
Oh man, this part of the game sucks. We have to skin his face. Oh man, like. Ooh, an ATM. Because we are about to impersonate probably like the the biggest asshole ever in Chicago. That's saying a lot, I think. He's even more of a dick than Aiden Pierce. Think about that for a second. <laughs> we got uh, this guy hanging out. We got uh, this guy. And... We got that guy. Yeah, so Lucky Quinn basically like brought this sick, sadistic fuck into, uh, into Chicago so that he could buy some prostitutes you know, the kind that get kidnapped as a young children and forced into the business. Because that's always a pleasant topic to talk about in a video game. I mean, if video games want to have that discussion, that's fine. That's but... fine, but you've got to at least have a fucking point to it. Which this game really doesn't. At least not as far as I can tell. You know, because this game doesn't want to have a political message whatsoever, so it, it has to be as, like, bland as possible. While at the same time having prostitutes in there, in, illegal prostitutes in the game. It's really, like, bizarre how this game works. The battery recharges over time, right? Uh, no, it does not. Mm, that could be a problem. Yeah, it does. All right, cool. No more reinforcements. Oh, it does. Wow. Oh, we got one more. Well, uh, you're gonna launch her out. Take care of business. Just gonna wait for this one guy. Well, they can all call reinforcements. They really do not want you to like. <laughs> they really... take the direct approach. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, though, I could just wait. And just wait to disable all these reinforcements. Yeah, but that'd be really boring. Just blow them all up. I don't have any grenade launcher ammo. Oh. So now we're just gonna we're just gonna wait on this. I remember I I died a lot in this one fight because you're very, in very close quarters. Hey Brandon, how much time you got? We got four more guys to disable reinforcements for. Dude, let's just. Do this. <laughs> <laughs> All Seriously. right. You see me play Watch Dogs. You know I'm not so good at this. Yeah, uh, we got a jam comms. So let's. I think we should start. Why don't you just black out? Yeah, I was like, should we start with the blackout, though? Or wait, nah, till, or wait till the fighting start starts. With, start with a jam con, I guess, and then go into a blackout when things get bad. Dude. Yeah, this is not a fun place to, to, to fight in. It's very open. At all. Burr, burr. Of course, the one guy. Oh. All right, well, one guy. Call for reinforcements with the CTOS down. Well, we got everybody, except uh, he's running away. Don't worry, I'm the vigilante. Hey, uh, the wow, that guy's going real fast. How is he getting away so fast? He's in a car. <laughs> I never foresaw the car. Hey, Who would have imagined he would take a car? I usually begin by blowing the car up. That would have been a good start. And that usually ends up killing a lot of the guys. So, uh... You want to start disabling reinforcements again? No, just blow it up. Just blow this whole fucking place to hell. Okay, well he's dead. I didn't want to hack into that camera! Curse you context sensitive buttons. Okay. Yeah, no. yeah, usually, yeah, most of my strategy was just crouching here and taking care of people one by one. Or somewhere that was safe. I've been tasked with handling you, so I know all about your hobbies. You want to break the girls? That's your business once you're out of the country. But you will not put Mr. Quinn at risk while you're in Chicago. Okay. We've lined up a gift for you at the Infinite 92. Ask for the Poppy Special. That's where you'll find your invite to the auction. Well... Killed everybody. I'm still not entirely sure why we're doing this. Well, like we have bed bug, right? So I, I'm still sure exactly why 
we're going through this little side quest. Well, because we're going to kill Bedbug. Because he knows too much. I don't know. It, Ask me anything about thing, Watch Dogs. The thing is, I would, I would actually believe that it's something that Aiden Pierce would actually do. <laughs> no, I'm blackmailing you, but now you know too much, so I gotta kill you. It's nothing personal. I just don't like you. <laughs> he would probably be the kind of guy to say nothing personal. Yeah. There's something fucking. There's something deeply wrong with this character. <laughs> Very deeply wrong. Did you, just, did you just get out of that car to steal an identical looking car? Well, one, it's a different looking car, and two, that one had a busted hood. It drove perfectly fine, but the hood was busted. Oh my god. Ooh, that's a fancy looking car, though. Oh yeah, Chicago South Club. I was trying to think what that icon was. Yeah, that's the name of Lucky Quinn's gang. You know, they, they're old fashioned mobsters. I don't think he's talking about food. We'll hang on to any weapons. Any weapons. Here's my one pistol. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I find it hard to believe they just came in here with only a pistol. I mean, to be fair, that's like every game, though. Like every game I've ever seen, that's like, drop all your weapons, like one pistol. It's like, aren't I carrying like 16 different guns? <laughs> you have a grenade launcher in your pocket. <laughs> but I can't take Literally. it out. Yep. I keep it in my back, back part of my pants. No one will know. So what is stopping us from just blowing everything up right here and now? Uh, I don't have my weapons. They took all of them. I mean, before we entered the building. Uh, the cutscene started before I entered? Are you saying, like, within universe? Like, no, like, in universe, like, the character Aiden Pierce, uh, why would he just murder everybody? Because Lord knows he would. <laughs> <laughs> it's, he's trying real hard not to right now. Lord knows he would murder the shit out of everyone here. Especially after this cutscene. I don't know. Unless he physically wants to see Lucky Quinn face to face again? Or Iraq? I think it's to see Iraq face to face because he knows he's going to be there. So he just kind of has to play the part. Until he can get Do to the actual this audition. Part the, this part of the game, the question of why, like... This is like the one time where Aiden Pierce murdering everyone would be justifiable, and he doesn't. Guy's got handcuffs. Dude, that is fucking creepy as shit, bro. What, the handcuffs or the tattoo? Oh, the fact that she's being offered to him like a fucking sacrifice. <laughs> Literally a sacrifice, though, in this case, because it's because like he it's no secret that this guy kills his women. I'm too white. Also, I like how he's like, come with me, and then she's just kind of sitting there. Okay. Uh, what are we doing now? We're yeah, just, we're so... We're just, uh, uh... We're leaving her there? I, I, I fucking guess. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. Alright, well, I see you later. I'm not even ta I'm not entirely sure why this part is in, in the game in the first place. Well, we picked up an envelope that was in the cell call record or whatever. Because, again, we already have Bedbug to get into Iraq's compound. What are we doing with, with these prostitutes? My gun. Well, I had to get, um... The envelope to get to the uh, to the auction. Yeah, but why are we wanting to go to the auction? Because we're gonna go kill Iraq. Yeah, but that's what Bedbug is for. <laughs> I don't know. Like, like this is the biggest filler shit in like the entire game. And it's not even good filler. It's uncomfortable, squirky. Like really bad fill filler, and I'm not against being a game making me uncomfortable, but like, this is uncomfortable with no real point to being uncomfortable. This game like won't say anything about this. You know what I will say though, I can do sick donuts in the parking lot, or not. And this and this is. Whoops.
This is the end of the episode. I caused a blackout. Oops. I, I think I think we're done. My niece is dead. Done. I think we're done with all of Watch Dogs. <laughs> It's over. Let's move on to the next season. Okay. That'd be great if I could just go, my new sister! And then we'll just cut to black, and then we'll see you in season four, everybody. We're doing Bye, that, right? Bye, guys. See you in the next season. <laughs> Bye, everybody.